resistivity and conductivity are properties of matter. All matter has resistivity or conductivity. Those two things will be reciprocals of each other. And yes, the math is coming up for it. And I hope you're not dyslexic because the resistivity and the conductivity are mirror opposites of each other. So, metals have resistivity or conductivity, depending on how you look at things, you know, cup half empty, cup half full. Plastics have resistivity and conductivity. Okay, more plastics. Here's got some copper wire. Uh, copper has resistivity and conductivity, but wood, human body, uh, seawater, lots of things, everything, all matter has resistivity. Okay, resistivity is expressed with numbers and these numbers are in scientific notation and that involves negative exponents. So, for example, the resistivity of iron is this number. 1 times 10 to the power of negative 7. That's in scientific notation. If you want to make it into a decimal, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There, that's how it looks like. That number is the resistivity of iron. Now, it has a unit of measurement as well. And its unit of measurement is ohm. Ohm meters with a center dot there for multiplication. Okay, okay, here's another one. Oh, that's ugly. There, ohm meters. Okay, what this means is, this resistivity is inside the crystal lattice where you have different... I'm just going to get you a picture here. Here is a crystal lattice. How about a cubic cubic crystal lattice where atoms... Here is body-centered cubic there. That one is in the middle. And that one is there, body-centered cubic. All of these atoms are a set distance apart. And when you try to push electrons through this grid, say in that direction of flow, this electron you want to push it to that one and from that and it's going to be held captive there by by uh, atomic or nuclear forces there between the protons and the electrons and and then you need to exert some more work to push it onto the next one and to push it further ahead and ahead and ahead and that work that's being done on the electrons it is a physical exertion matter opposes this physical exertion, okay? And that is analogous to friction, okay? When you try to uh, push a heavy crate on a wooden pallet, on a concrete floor, there is friction between the two of them, okay? You're exerting physical force to move a crate forward and the wooden floor will have its uh, resistance we don't have its friction against it so that's what resistivity is okay it's uh, it's like friction it's opposing the flow of electrons in matter like I said any kind of matter it's usually abbreviated with the Greek letter Rho that's like a shepherd's Rod, okay, that's how it looks like. It's not a Latin alphabet, lowercase b. All right, here is some of this stuff. Take a look at this one. Uh, I'll make it work. There, material listed here, and there is the row number. It's it's uh, resistivity, and it's measured at 20 degrees because as temperature changes, resistivity also changes, goes up or goes down. In ohmic materials and most materials, resistance uh, resistance goes up with the temperature, uh, but superconductors behave just directly the opposite. Okay, so uh, let's see. There is iron. There is iron on it. One times ten to the power of negative seven. Everything to the negative seven, eight. There, silver is the best conductor because it has the lowest resistivity the lowest resistivity with the highest negative exponent there and uh, 
Well, actually, 1.68. Okay, copper is better than silver. Uh, it's got a. Oh, actually, sorry, sorry, sorry. The yeah, the highest negative exponent and the lowest uh, number at the front. So silver is the best conductor because it's got the lowest uh, resistivity. All right. And uh, other matter is also listed here. Other than so, these are metals here. Okay, carb. Yeah. Mm, all right. We'll go for metals. Metals. Not, not, this is not gas. That's gallium arsenic. Okay. Nichrome. Uh, nichrome is used as a heating element in in iron. You know that you're ironing your clothes with uh, heaters in a hot water tank. Those kind of things. All right. Uh, further down here, you got drinking water, silicon, and. And on this side of the printout, you got wood, glass, rubber, and you can see that now the numbers don't have a negative exponent. Now they have a positive exponent, and they're going to the power of 15, 16 air. See? And okay, depending on it's a range because it depends on how much moisture that air contains. Quartz, Teflon. Okay, Teflon is a plastic. PET is a plastic. All right, so that's resistivity. All right, now conductivity is like I said, the mirror opposite or the reciprocal of it, and it shows you how easily the electrons go through this uh, matter. Okay, and its unit of measurement is Siemens per meter. Siemens per meter, okay? And uh, the, uh, the, the uh, that's the unit of measurement, so S over M. There is also an alternative to, to Siemens. Uh, if this is ohms, this is MHO. That's also, it's not official official nomenclature or, or, or metric approved uh, a thing, uh, this MHO, MO, but uh, that's what they try to do. If these ones are ohms, uh, this, this one is the mirror opposite of, of ohms, and they try to invent a unit of measurement for it that they spell ohm backwards, And then, but it's been rejected by the international community, but it, you, can, you can see how the two things are opposites of each other. That's the only reason why I bought it up. So it's measured in Siemens per meter, and and its letter is sigma. That's a Greek lowercase s sigma. That's not a worm or a cookie with long hair or whatever else. All right. Here, here are the sigma numbers on the same table at the same temperature, and you can see how these ones. These ones are up, are reciprocals of those ones. We're going to try it with uh, one number. How about ion? The ion's conduct uh, conductivity is uh, 1 to the power, 1 times 10 to the power of 7. So 1 times 10 to the power of 7. And its resistivity was that number. Now. This one is 1 over 1 times 10 to the power of 7. Sorry, that's a minus 7. My bad. Ah, it's very ugly. Uh, do I have white art? No, I don't have white art. I'm unprepared. But if you do this division, 1 is the same thing as 1 times 10 to the power of 0. Because 10 to the power of 0 is 1, 1 by 1 is 1, and when you are doing a division, you are subtracting the exponents, so 0 minus minus 7, 0 minus minus 7 equals plus 7, alas, there is your plus 7 in the exponent number, so that's how it goes everywhere, if you take any other number, how about lithium, 9.20, 9.28 for its resistivity, and that's to the power of minus 8. So if I enter in the calculator 1 over 9.28, I get 
that number because I have to shift the decimal dot one spot over it's gonna be 1.07 uh, it was lithium there there's your 1.07 close enough I did this is from Wikipedia or something okay and all of these are somewhat rounded amounts that's why it doesn't perfectly check out but you got the idea 1 divided by 9.28 is going to be 1.07 but instead of to the power of negative 8 instead of the power of positive 8 it's going to be only to the positive 7 because you have to shift the decimal dot one spot over so it's now only to the power of 7 yeah. instead of 8 so let's have reciprocals work and that's what that's what resistivity and conductivity are okay Rho and Sigma are parts of some longer formulas. You're going to have to work with them. I'll show you how.